Okay, am I the only one who finds it weird? The guy who did the animation for this movie did the same animation for Hercules? Hello and welcome to my review of The Wall. With music by Pink Floyd, it really doesn't star anyone. Now, why am I reviewing this? It seems like such a random review. There's no really significant reason for it. Well, it's because a friend of mine really likes The Wall. Well, and, you know, ST Bono 27. Uh, is it 27? I really hope I didn't mess that up. I usually just call him ST Bono. But then again, I'm getting, ahead, I'm getting off topic here, sorry. But he really likes Pink Floyd, and he really wanted me to review some music. So I'm going to meet in the middle, and I'm going to review their feature film, The Wall. Now I must say before I start reviewing, because this will affect the rating I give it, that I'm a huge fan of Pink Floyd, and The Wall is my favorite album. But this film does have its flaws, which I'm going to get into those first, because I really just want to get them out of the way. There is no plot. That is the biggest flaw. There is absolutely no plot, and if there is, I can't remember it, which means it's not a very good one. However, this is Pink Floyd's The Wall. You don't come for the plot. You know what you come for? You come for music. Great, catchy, awesome music. And the visuals are awesome, too. So it's, it is candy for the ears and for the eyes. It is everything you want from a musical. Just a good time, you can sit down and watch it. Let me get more in-depth with this and talk about some of the songs. I'm really not going to judge acting or anything, because there really aren't that many actors. I will get into the animation later, but honestly, I'm just going to judge the songs, mostly. First of all, Roger Waters wrote some great songs. My brother, Mitchell, he actually saw him in concert, said the Wall concert was just as good, and Roger Waters is a genius. The songs are superb. One of my favorites, personally, is Comfortably Numb, and it's also one of my favorite segments of the film. I mean, seeing this kid run through a field with a rat while playing Comfortably Numb in the background, you would be surprised how well it matches up, and how cool it is. This film has a very surreal, very surreal, just a feeling. It doesn't feel like it's real. It's surreal, which I've been saying a lot. The only way to show this is this example. Okay, just sitting here and everything, and then all of a sudden, that happens. This is what Pink Floyd The Wall feels like. Surreal and just odd, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, considering that's the feeling I got while listening to the album. Another, another song I'd really like to mention is The Trial, by far the best song on the album, in my opinion, and the best segment in the film, in my opinion. I mean, the animation in this movie is just stellar, especially for the school mascot. He looks so sick and twisted, I love it. <laughs> yeah, this scene is just phenomenal. The animation, how weird it is, and how sort of sick and twisted it is. It just fits the song, The Trial, perfectly, and that is my favorite song off the album, so you can see how much I loved it. Then there are, then there are no brick in the wall scenes, and there are, like, three parts to that song, at least three, I think. I'm almost for sure about it. But, yeah, and all of those segments are done very well. I just don't like seeing School Masker as a human. I always thought he looked cooler as an animated character. But those segments are very good as well, and Young Lust, I have eyes. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, Young Lust is very good. Yeah, it's Young Lust. It's also very good. And it's a very good song. In the end, all these songs are great, and I love this movie. But let me get into the visuals. Okay, the guy who animated Hercules did this movie. Hercules. An animated film about a Greek demigod, okay? Wait, no, it would be God, because he has two. Never mind. But, <laughs> it's a Greek God. And, he did this movie. Watch these two films back to back, and you know why I'm exaggerating this. I mean, this, this is weird. Really weird. Which, again, is perfect for this film. I love this movie. I really do. And, 
I understand why people don't like it if you're not a fan of the songs of Pink Floyd, or if you're not a fan of films without a really a plot or a good plot. I can't remember a plot at least, and I'm almost sure there isn't one. But if you're not a fan of that type of stuff, especially if you're not a fan of Pink Floyd, you will not like this movie. But if you're a fan of Pink Floyd like me, get some friends together who also like Pink Floyd, Watch it and enjoy yourself, because this film is a blast for any Pink Floyd fan. I'm going to give this film an A-. minus. I really enjoy this film. The only reason I don't give it an A is because I understand why people wouldn't enjoy it, but I love this movie. I love the soundtrack, and I love the execution behind it. Tell me what you thought of Pink Floyd's The Wall in the comments below, and please like, favorite, and subscribe for more reviews.